everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to be repotting my newest acquisition, the Iwanagara Apple Blossom Cattleya, from its current pot into self-watering with lacquer, which is my usual setup for cattleyas. I filmed the unboxing video for this a few hours ago and I'll link you to that down below, uh, in which I discovered that it had some nice new roots starting there, just the nubs starting to emerge. This is the perfect time to repot. It's since been soaking in my fertilizer solution, which is rain mix and some seaweed extract for a few hours. I'm not sure if it's actually plumped up at all, but it's got enough good roots that I'm not concerned and we've got some new roots starting, so it's the perfect time to repot it. So I'm just gonna get rid of this nutrient solution and then we will get started. So I just tipped out the nutrient solution and most of the bark just came out of the pot with it, which is great news because it means I'm not going to have to detach any bark from roots. So what I'm going to need to do now is just to squeeze around this pot until I detach the root system. The whole root system is kind of just attached to the side of the pot in there. So I'm just going to need to squeeze it to release it and then just repot it. There doesn't look like there's any dead ones in there to sort out. So I'm just going to gently squeeze all round to try and detach these roots from the side of the pot. Just try and give the bottom a bit of a squeeze as well. And, uh, I lost a couple of roots there but Pretty much all of them have come away completely clean. So, just gonna be very careful of those new little root tips that are just emerging. Just try and remove some of this bark from the bottom. If you damage Cattleya roots though, they will die. Uh, they tend to kill their roots off quite easily. So, I'm gonna try and leave as much on as I can. I can take it out in a subsequent repot. The Lekka has a fairly neutral pH anyway, so I'm not too worried about if a few chunks of bark get left on now. I'm not gonna rip the root system apart for a few little bits of bark, it's not worth it. Okay, so I've got off what I can. And I don't know if you can see, I've tried to put a lamp on this so that you can get a bit of a better view while I'm repotting, but it means I can't see quite as well on the screen. Um, the roots have, the rhizome was put at the bottom of that pot. The roots have grown around and then up around the rhizome. So I just wanna try and pull these down slightly because I don't want them sitting right at the surface of the lacquer, which stays quite dry. It's gonna be a bit of an awkward, gonna gently kind of squeeze on these roots and see if I can get enough flexibility in them just to try and move them down a bit. I think that's gonna have to do and we're gonna have to plant it slightly horizontally. Now as a bit of an experiment in this, what I've done to try and increase the wicking efficiency and to test out if this works, is I've actually I've put the wicks in but they're very long so they're almost to the top of the pot so I'm going to see if that actually maintains more moisture around the top half of the media because usually I get a very dry top layer with lecker. Yeah I think I'm going to have to slightly bury this rhizome but again I do get that dry top layer so usually I don't really have any problems with rot. With this obviously we'll try and keep as much above as we can but we want those new roots kind of going down in. Okay, so I'm positioning the newest growth and it just seems to have that one direction of growth towards the centre of the pot to give it the maximum growing room. And then I'm just going to fill around with lacquer. And off camera I did also just spritz the root system down with hydrogen peroxide 3%, which I kind of do as standard for all my repottings. I've dealt with snails enough just not to trust doing anything other than that. I think that root is unfortunately just going to stick up no matter what I do because of the way it's grown and they're quite stiff even after soaking so I don't want to risk snapping that root. So 
So I think that this one is just going to have to stay sticking up. So a lot of these you'll notice are very close to the top, which I wouldn't usually do, it's not ideal. Um, but in this case, unfortunately, I think it's gonna have to be because of the way these roots have grown. And luckily, we've got some nice new roots starting there. So, even if these ones do dry out and don't adapt very well to this environment, it's got some new ones on the way. Okay, so that is the Awanagara apple blossom all repotted into self-watering with Lekka. And we've got the wicks extending a little bit further up the side than usual. Quite happy with the positioning. Unfortunately, we've got a few more roots than I would have liked at the surface of the pot. Um, it's not ideal. I will try and mist them to keep them alive, but in all likelihood, they may well dry out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to see how it goes. It, I couldn't really do much more with it, unfortunately, because of the positioning of the roots. So yeah, I'd rather leave a few at the top than try and push them too hard and risk breaking the roots off. So we do have some more roots on the way, which is exciting. And even if these old roots don't make it, we've got new ones to come. I actually wasn't very happy with the way it was potted and the fact that there were roots at the top of the media. So a couple of days later, I have come back and re-potted it again. This time the roots were nice and soft where they'd been kind of in semi-hydro for a few days and kind of moist. So I kind of just pulled the root ball down so that it was completely at the bottom of the pot. Um, it kind of came quite easily after it had a few days in semi-hydro. So yeah, this is the new adaptation and you can see after a few more days, those root nubs have really come out. So it's also plumped up quite a bit. So yeah, that's um, the final repotting of it. So excited to have finally got this fantastic hybrid. And I will hopefully be updating you in the near future with flowers to come. Thanks so much for watching. And if you do have any questions, then leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I will see you guys later. Bye.